Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. That's Justin's house. In this video, we're going to be working on the Justin's house workspace. And in this video, I want to show you how to add new list to a workspace and I'm going to start in workspace builder. I haven't rehearsed this. I haven't practiced this. What I did beforehand is I did some integration work. I have a new um, import of my YouTube videos and my WordPress posts and news.js.pro posts coming into my instance and I want those lists showing in my workspace. Those are things that I look at and use all the time so I'd like them at the ready and I'm going to start in App Engine Studio. So let's back up a little bit. Here's my Justin's house application. I clicked on experience and was looking for my workspace here. So I went ahead and opened it and that's going to open up Workspace Builder. And again, the idea is I just need these lists added to the workspace. I've already got them on my dashboard or some of them. You can see here I've got content, WordPress, I've got an SSH page, but that's a landing page slash dashboard in my workspace. Where I want them to show up is in the list view right here so that I can interact with them and review them and do things like create you know, videos or put them in my idea backlog. So I've never done this before, but I get the general idea. If I wanted to add a different view of content, I'd add a filtered list. But if you scroll down, I have this list category. So here's where I don't know where this is gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and add a list category. I'm gonna give it a name and we're just gonna call this. We'll start with, um, uh, let's start with news.js.pro. So I'm just gonna do this news.js.pro and this is gonna be, um, the description is Jace's ServiceNow news feed and that table already exists i've already got a job kind of managing all that so there's my category um, so now i'm going to below that i'm going to add a filtered list now that's interesting it looks like i can't reorder oh no I can reorder these so i can put this in order we'll deal with that later um, but let's go ahead now we'll add a filtered list to this and we'll call this all just like the rest of them we'll all say all and we'll select the table and i'm just going to search for news and of course, there it is, news.json, like how I named my table there, instead of a dot, I spelled out dot, news.js.pro, we're gonna add that, and it looks like it's there, and there it is, oh my gosh, everything came in, I've got the links and everything. All right, perfect, that was so much easier than I thought it was gonna be, so let's do our next category, which would be WordPress, so we'll call this WordPress, and this will be Justin's WordPress posts, We'll add that category, and then below that, we will add a filtered list for or for all, just like we did for Jason's stuff. And the table, let's just search for a WordPress and wait. Looks like the no results found. Okay, so there's my WordPress post. Oh, so I could put the comments down there too. Uh, I forgot that I did that too. So I'll just put all posts and click add, and then we'll add another filtered list for all comments. I'm glad it came up because I had forgot that I integrated. There's two different feeds you can pull in from WordPress, the actual post and the comments on the post. All right, so two out of three, let's do the next one and that's gonna be YouTube. Uh, so we'll call this one YouTube. Uh, actually, no, I don't want a filtered list. Glad I stopped there. I want another category and we'll call this YouTube. And this will be Justin's YouTube posts. Now this isn't retroactive, I just have this going forward, so it's been running for maybe uh, a little less than a week. Uh, let's get rid of those alerts. And now there's my YouTube category, so we're gonna go ahead and add a filtered list, and we'll call this all. And I should have a table for YouTube. YouTube content, there it is, click add. And let's wait for it, wait for it. There it is, there's my YouTube post, awesome. So I've got the number, the link, published, the video ID, all that good stuff. All right, so where's my save button? <laughs> I wanna save my work, I did a lot of work. Um, I don't see a save button and I'm in the my app right app, so I think, I guess I'm good. Again, like I said, I didn't practice this beforehand, um, so I think I'm okay. Now, before we go and look at this, I'm just gonna minimize all of these. Obviously, there's no way to quickly do it. They were in alphabetical order before I added these, so let's make sure um, they're still in alphabetical order like I want them. So there's WordPress, YouTube. So YouTube's gonna be at the bottom, obviously. Idea needs to come up to be after F. All right, so maybe I can't drag and drop. Man, that would've been cool if I could. No, I can't. All right, so I just gotta grab it from here instead of here. 
So there's idea. Let's move project up um, above release notes. Let's try that again. There we go. Uh, mid server should be above project. That's my list of mid servers I use for my integrations. Okay, let's try news.js.pro. Let's move him up after mid server. Okay, am I going to have to do every one of these twice? Strange. And WordPress, QRS, TV, WBoxYZ. Okay, so I'm good there in alphabetic order. Everything looks good. Uh, filter at it successfully. All right, I think I'm done. I'm a bit weirded out that there's no save button, um, but I'm going to go ahead and close this and uh, let, let me commit my changes because I made some changes. Yeah, there's all that stuff. We'll deal with that later. Um, let's just go to the workspace and we're going to refresh and cross our fingers and see if it's that easy to add a list to my new workspace using the workspace builder in App Engine Studio. All right, it just reloaded. I've already seen that it's reordered them. I've got news.js.pro, so let's check out his stuff. Um, I should see a list of posts that came in. I'm checking once a day. Um, so there, uh, hey Jace, I don't know if you're watching this, but one of the posts has the year 2090 on it. Um, don't know if you know about that, but there we go. We got, uh, there's my podcast that came out earlier today. Here's how to convert a demand to a program. So that's exactly what I wanted um, because I see all kinds of ideas that come through here. Let's check out my WordPress posts. Okay, all those came through, so I've got all my WordPress posts sorted by number, and the podcast is what came out today, so that makes sense. And the last one to check is YouTube, and there's all my YouTube videos. So um, that doesn't look as up to date. Let's sort that by number. And um, Ottersley Allison Podcast uh, for the 21st. Interesting. Uh, how did that post after that? That's today. 133. I don't know how the numbers got all weird, um, but it's working. I got these added to my workspace. It's that easy um, to use Workspace Builder to add these to your workspace. So I hope you found this video helpful. It's definitely helpful to me, and me showing you makes me remember it better. Um, if you liked it, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody that you think might be interested in modifying their workspace using Workspace Builder in App Engine Studio. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.